Here we have a second order differential equation with initial conditions. And uh, let's start by taking the Laplace transform of each. To do so, we need to have Laplace transform of t equals to 1 over s squared and uh, Laplace transform of uh, y prime is s y of s minus y of 0 and Laplace transform of y double prime is s squared y of s then minus s y 0 minus y prime of 0. Now, uh, so if you apply Laplace transform both sides, here and also there, the result is that y double prime using this formula here, you're going to get s squared y of s minus s times y0, but y0 is 2, so s times 2, and then minus y prime of 0, but y prime of 0 is 5, so that's what you get, plus 4 times the definition of y of s is Laplace transform of y. So when you apply Laplace trans to transform to y, you're going to get capital Y of s. And that's what you're going to get on the left side. On the other hand, you will get 16 times 1 over s squared because of this formula here. OK, now let's try to solve this for y of s. How do you do it? Well, I can combine these two. So we get s squared plus 4 y of s, and then minus 2s minus 5 equals to 16 over s squared. Let's add 2s plus 5 to the other side. So that you get s squared plus 4 y of s equal to 2s plus 5 plus 16 over s squared. And uh, you might as well rewrite this as, uh, you, you, can you can think of this as everything over 1 and multiply s squared top and bottom. So you get 2s cubed plus 5s squared plus 16. And then because this times ys is that, if you solve for y of s, you will end up with 2s cubed plus 5s squared plus 16 over s squared plus 4 times s squared. Because I, I've divided this over to the other side, uh, that s squared plus 4 belongs in the denominator. OK, so that that's the answer for this second part. Uh, since uh, there's a lot written here, let me erase some stuff and let's move on to, okay, All right, so this is what we have for this answer right here, 2s. Now in order to get the yt back, you have to undo this Laplace transform, but to do that you need to do partial fraction expansion. So let me show you how that's done. Uh, I want this to be sum of s squared plus 4 plus something over s squared. And uh, because this is, they're both second order, you need to put uh, a something s plus something. So you, you need something like a s plus b and then c s plus d. Uh, now, furthermore, uh, because Laplace transform of sine a t is a over s squared plus a squared, and uh, if a is 2, you're going to get exactly s squared plus 4 in the denominator, but you, you need 2 on top, right? Uh, and therefore, if you have the inversion in mind, uh, although this is the way people do partial fraction expansion if the question was to integrate this. Uh, when it comes to Laplace transform, it's better if you to, if you write b times 2 rather than just b. It makes uh, the later calculations easier, OK? All right, so let's try to figure out what as b2 
2b cs plus d should be. Well, there are many other ways, but uh, I think for this one, it's easier to combine this right side and compare with the left side. So if I multiply s squared to top and bottom to this, I will get s squared, s squared plus 4 as the denominator in the first one, and then uh, it will be as times s squared, so as cubed, and 2b times s squared, so it's 2bs squared. So what I did was I take, took the very first fraction and multiplied s squared top and bottom. Uh, that way I can make common denominators to put these two into a single one and then compare it to the left side. Okay. Uh, for the other one, uh, I need s squared plus 4. So that's, that's a little tricky. So let's actually calculate that separately. Uh, if you have cs plus d times s squared plus 4, and we can FOIL. So CS times S squared would be CS cubed. CS times 4 would be 4CS. D times S squared and D times 4. So you're going to get, uh, it, if I write this first, because this is S squared, this is S the first power, so this should be written first. So you have CS cubed plus DS squared plus um, 4cs, uh, I am running out of room, but 4d, and this, this entire thing should be uh, over s squared, s squared plus 4. Okay, now if you combine, combine it, now if you combine it, now you have a plus c s cubed, and 2b plus d s squared, and you have 4cs and plus 4d. The entire thing would be over s squared plus s squared plus 4. And if you compare this to the left side, you see that uh, what you need is you need 2s cubed plus 5s plus squared plus 16 has to match with this right side a plus c times s cubed plus 2b plus d s squared plus 4cs plus 4d and you see that 4d has to be 16 so that d must be 4 and there's no s term so this think of this left side as 0 times s okay uh, so 0 times s should be 4cs so 4c should be 0 or c should be 0 and then uh, you also have uh, 2b plus d equals to 5. So 2b plus d has to be 5. And 2b is equal to 5 minus d, but d is 4. So 5 minus 4, which is 1. So b must be 1 half. And then uh, a plus c has to be 2, the very first ones. a plus c has to be 2, but c is 0, so a must be 2. So we have everything now. We have uh, that you have 2 times s over s squared plus 4 and uh, 1 half times 2 over s squared plus 4. c is 0, so we don't care. And d is 4 over s squared. And now you look at the inversion of these. And we know that uh, this one, if you look at the Laplace table, this is cosine. Uh, so so I, if it was cosine, the only difference is that instead of 2 here, it would be s. So s over s squared plus 4 would be uh, cosine 2t. And this 2 carries over here. And there's a 1 half here, put 1 half. And this much will be, as I said over here, it's sine 2t. And then finally, it's uh, 4 times t squared because uh, 4 times t, yeah. Because 4 times t, uh, t, Laplace transform of t is equal to 1 over s squared. So if you have 4 here, this should be also 4. Okay, so 4t should be 4 over s squared. And uh, it, it's, it's instructive to actually 
plug in plug back into this one to see if it works indeed if you plug in 40 on the left side you get 40 double prime equal to 0 40 times 4 matching with 16 p on the right side also when you plug in 0 this will be 0 this will be 0 you do get 2 and when you differentiate you get just cosine 2t plus 4 and uh, also there's a sign but when you plug in 0 to sine it goes away and uh, cosine 2t plus 4 and when you plug in t equals 0 you get 1 plus 4 which is 5 so it matches with this and uh, these are also solution to this equal to 0 so everything matches out so take some time to actually verify that this is indeed the solution once you get the answer